Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to something completely different. I've always been a pretty big fan of the Pokemon series, ever since I was given Pokemon Red for my ninth birthday. I remember specifically going home sick from school on the day just so that I could play it. Yeah, I know. I was a loose cunt. Safe to say, a massive chunk of my growing up years were spent playing and replaying the several Pokemon games released over the first two generations. So naturally, they're by far my favourite. As the years went on, I sort of drifted in and out. I played Pokemon Ruby on an emulator but never finished it. I skipped Generation 4 completely until playing Pokemon Heart Gold. I played Pokemon Black but didn't bother with the sequel. And I played and finished Pokemon X a couple of years back. So it's fair to say that although I haven't played them all, I've still spent a lot of time with Pokemon over the years. For those of you unaware, recently a fan-made Pokemon game called Pokemon Uranium was released after 9 years of work. It was only available to download for a day or so before it was pulled by the creators to respect Nintendo's wishes. But of course, because it's the internet, as of now the game is still available for those looking for it. I myself wanted to check it out, and one of the first things I noticed after booting it up was that there was a built-in Nuzlocke mode. I've watched a few different Nuzlocke challenges on YouTube over the years, and I've always wanted to give it a go. So I thought, why not give it a crack and see how it goes? Oh, and don't worry, it will not replace my current stuff. I just wanted to do something different on the side. That all being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you'll join me on this sure-to-be epic adventure. So... The rules for my first ever Nuzlocke challenge are as follows. 1. If a Pokemon faints, it is considered dead and must be released. 2. We can only catch the first Pokemon that we encounter in each new area. If we run from it or kill it, we do not get another chance at catching another Pokemon. However, if the first Pokemon that we encounter is a duplicate of a Pokemon that we have already caught, then we can catch the next Pokemon we encounter. And finally, the battle style must be changed from Shift to Set meaning that we won't get a chance to change Pokemon in battle after we knock out an opposing Pokemon. Okay, so now that we have the rules down, let's kick off our adventure by heading downstairs, getting some running shoes from our dying aunt, and heading to the Pokemon lab. Hey, wait up! Where do you think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get to the lab before me so you can get the better Pokemon? Well, that ain't gonna happen, because I'm gonna get the strongest one first! Try to keep up, Nick! Okay, so now that that little prick has set his piece, let's continue into the lab, where interestingly, rather than outright choose our starting Pokemon, we need to take a Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test to determine which Pokemon we'll get. Fair enough? It consists of a few multiple choice questions, for which the different answers are highlighted red, green, or blue. Which I'm absolutely sure is just a coincidence. Question number one. When you encounter a new kind of Pokemon in the wild, what is your first reaction? Attack it right away, wait and see what it does, or throw a Pokeball at it? We'd attack it right away, of course! Question 2. Which of these TMs would you prefer to teach your Pokemon? Hyper Beam, Protect, or Hidden Power? Um, fucking Hyper Beam? Hey Professor, what's a TM anyway? Well mate, safe to say I don't like your chances. Question number three. Which of the following Pokemon would win in an all-out battle? Gyarados, Glizcor, or Ampharos? That's a slightly more interesting question. Gyarados is a beast, but is also water flying type. So although it would roll the ground flying type Glizcor, it would easily be taken out by Ampharos in a single electric attack. And although being strong against Gyarados, Ampharos' electric attacks would be useless against Glizcor, who could make quick work of Ampharos with a few decent ground attacks. So let's just answer this with who we'd like to see win this all-out battle. Gyarados. Every day of the week. Final question. What is your motivation for becoming a Pokemon trainer? Becoming the very best, exploring the region, or making new friends? Another easy one. Becoming the very best, of course. That concludes the test, and who would have thought? Four red questions answered, and we've received the Fire Ground Starter, Raptorch. Nice. 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 Now let's see how our little rival Theo fared. Orchinx! The Grass Steel type starter. 
Hmm, something tells me that little Theo isn't going to be faring too well in his first Pokemon battle. Yes! My first Pokemon! Nick, you have the Pokemon, and now I have the Pokemon too! You know what that means, right? We have to battle! Oh, please, not in the... Rival Theo would like to battle! This is it! My first battle as a Pokemon trainer! After years of waiting and preparation, I can finally do it! Okay, Archinx! Hit him with a- What? B I was supposed to win! After winning our first Pokemon battle by a landslide, little Theo will have himself a cry before running home to his father and will be told by the professor to meet him at the edge of town with Theo for a lesson in Pokemon catching. It seems pretty unnecessary, but you never know. Catching Pokemon may work a little differently in Pokemon Uranium, so this could actually be useful. So let's go and collect little Theo, but not before being threatened by his old man. What did you say to my son? He ran upstairs crying and locked the door behind him. He won't tell me what's wrong or come downstairs. I swear, if you did anything to hurt him, Fuck off, Liam Neeson. I only beat his ass in a Pokemon battle. Something tells me that it won't be the last time either. Thanks for the Pokepod, by the way. You fuckhead. So now that we've collected Theo, let's head on over to the edge of town for an important lesson in the art of catching Pokemon. Thanks for that. After that important and extremely useful lesson, the professor will hand over to us our very own Pokedex and some Pokeballs to begin our journey. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Nuzlocke challenge has officially begun. Explosion! Let's venture out onto Route 1 and catch ourselves our very first wild Pokemon. I'm pumped to see what it'll be. Here we go. What is it gonna be? Uh -huh. uh, uh. A chin monk on level fucking two. Uh, don't know what I was expecting. That's probably a, a, about right. Nick, use Pokeball! Bam! Gotcha! Chin monk was caught. This guy looks like a bit of a goober, so let's go ahead and call him. Derp. Yep. Derp. G'day, derp! Welcome to the team, derp! Derp! Level 2. Let's see how long you last. 16 XP points, isn't that enough to go up a level? Yes it is! Level 6. Fantastic. Okay, we have ourselves our first Pokemon. It is on low health, so let's just... Potion. Derp's HP was restored by 8. Yep, no worries. Let's see if we can't uh, do a bit of grinding and level up our Pokemon. Although I'm a little bit concerned because I've used that potion now to heal that, um, to heal Derp. Which means I won't be able to heal one of my Pokemon if it gets low on HP in this battle. And, uh, I don't know how many Pokemon this chick's gonna have. And I think the only way to get past this chick is by going along the fence and hoping she doesn't notice us. Damn it! School Kid Taft would like to battle. Chinmuck! Hey, I've got one of those. Go Derp! Uh -huh. uh. Alright, level 5v level 2. What the fuck was I thinking doing what I'm doing? Oh, that was risky. Now my Rap Torch is going to take irreparable damage. We're going to switch that in straight away. We, we... Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Tackle. Yeah. Oh, no. Fight. Okay, come on, Ember. Do mad damage. Oh, no. Oh, 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 come on, come on, oh, 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 my first Nuzlocke challenge and I'm already in a shit situation. Go, Ember. All right, we got him. We got him. He's down. 
Derp's on level three. Oh god. Mm, yeah, we need to change Pokemon now. We cannot leave our Raptorch out. He will not survive. We may be sacrificing our first new team member already, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hope not. Let's fucking hope not. Let's switch in Derp. Alright, Derp. You can take it. You can take it. Oh. Alright, now please let us be faster. Let us attack faster. Yes! Critical hit. Oh! Oh! Yep. Well. Uh, as I suspected, Derp. I can't change to my rap torch. He'll take the hit and he'll get and he'll go down. I just need to I just need to just I'm sorry, Derp. Never really got enough of a time to, you know, give you a chance, but come on. No! You couldn't even attack first! Oh goodbye, Derp! You went out so tragically. Oh, we are in so much trouble. We are in so much fucking trouble. We are in so much trouble. This was- I don't know what the fuck I was thinking sending out Derp to begin with. I should have gone... I should have gone to fucking Grandma's house and healed! I should not have used the potion in the field! Okay, come on first attack and critical hit. Come on. She's burnt. No! Oh! Oh no! Oh <laughs> no! Finish it off with an ember! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! I don't. I, I know I shouldn't be getting so excited about like my literally my second Pokemon battle. This should have been a walk in the park, and we only narrowly scraped through. We lost Derp, but guys, ladies and gentlemen, one out of 22 HP. We hung on by one HP to win the battle. So we're heading back to uh, our hometown. We desperately need a rest so we can heal our very damaged Pokemon. Damn it! Wrong house. Oh god, guys, that was uh, pretty intense. That was fucking intense. Who would have thought the very first episode there would have been such a close call like that? Who would have thought? My Pokemon were healed. It's it's dead. Look, there you go. I didn't see that before. Dead. Not fainted. It's dead. So um, yep. Goodbye, Derp. It was nice to raise you one level and be with you for that small increment of time. You know, I'm sure you would have lived a much longer, healthier, happier life had I not come along and caught you, but... You know, at least now your life served purpose. Raptorch, it's just you and me for now, buddy. But don't worry, mate. We'll find us some friends. We'll find you some teammates. We'll build a team of champions. Yes, we will. <laughs>